So here's something interesting that I wanted to talk about. You guys all know Jordan Peterson, the new hero of the skeptic community. I wanted to ask the question to you guys and kind of talk about this and just, you know, figure out how the fuck the skeptic community literally was created on being skeptic, skeptics against religion and Christianity and God and religion. But now their literal like top main figure is someone who is constantly making apologetics and arguing for and is a ardent supporter of Christianity and religion to the point where, you know, it's something that he references a lot in his 12 Rules for Life book, which is something I think even PewDiePie said, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, and he's had all these debates with Sam Harris, etc., etc. And now I love the skeptic community for what you, what it used to be because it was actually really skeptic against religion. But I guess people got tired of those videos. And I talked about this with Cult of Dusty when I did when I interviewed him as well. And, you know, he was kind of baffled by it as well. But I guess what it really shows is money really dictates what, you know, what goes on. Because uh, the reason why they're now supporting Jordan Peterson or saying what he says or uses the same rhetoric. In fact, the whole reason Jordan really says what he says is because of the patron money that he gets. He's making at least $60,000 a month, but I, I know for sure... That is more, but he's hidden the amount, so we don't know how much he's making. But I am going to guess that he's making at least eighty thousand a year. So you're looking at, you know, you're looking at nine sixty k a year. So he's making almost a million dollars just from Patreon, which is out of this world, you know, out of this world, honestly, quite out of this world. But I just don't understand how the skeptic community went from literally being created on the idea of atheism, questioning religion questioning God, being skeptics towards both. But then, you know, on the next turn, their hero, their literal hero, becomes someone who is, who is, you know, uh, propagating religion at every turn, and every turn. And the point of this is to say that, you know, he did a, he did a debate with Matt Dillahunty, which was a very good uh, a debate that I thought Dillahunty won. But it just goes to show you that taking shit and then wrapping it in gold doesn't make it not shit. It's still shit, but that's what Jordan Peterson is doing. So, you know, you got to be really careful with the things that he says, and I want to know what your guys' thoughts, is, thoughts are, because how the fuck did the skeptic community possibly go from just being 100% their whole identity being questioning religion and Christianity to now being, you know, their hero constantly advocating for religion and, you know, teaming up with the likes of Ben Shapiro and bashing Sam Harris when he's not even in the room, etc., etc. And, you know, having a bunch of debates with Sam Harris and questioning what truth is. You know, I never thought we'd get into the grounds of what is truth. I mean, technically, we already did with the whole alternative facts thing. But that's more in the political realm. Now you have in this realm, you know, literally a debate and questioning of what the definition of truth is. So, or what truth even is. So, let me know your guys' thoughts. I'm curious to hear about this.